Welcome back to Body Sculpt with Marlo Ellis, and we are here at the new gym on Park Avenue. Yes. And I'm here with Marlo Ellis, a fitness coach. Now, one thing about the new gym, Marlo, is we've got lots of new toys. Lots of new toys and some new space that I really want to use today. So, I think what we'll do to start is get you doing some um, movements with what's called the wall ball. It's a bit of a softer ball, normally filled with sand. They're made of leather, so they're really durable. So, what I'm going to get you to do to start, Jan, is that you're going to get down on the floor. Okay. And you've progressed to this point where we can actually make your push-up a little bit more challenging. So the same idea, you're going to get your core nice and straight. The wider your feet are apart, the, little, the easier the movement is, of course, the closer they are together, the more difficult. Hands nice and um, tight on the ball, grip them, and I'd like you to just lower yourself and push right from your chest. Good. So the difference between uh, a push-up on the wall ball and a regular push-up is that your hands have changed position, you're now gripping, you're actually pushing in and pushing up at the same time. Um, so it's a little bit more of an advanced move. Excellent, Jan. So Marlo, with this one, apparently you need to be close to a wall that you're not going to throw a ball through. Exactly. And So that's, the, that's one of the nice features of the new gym is that I have access to this great outside brick wall. Okay, so I had you doing push-ups, so you were doing upper body pushing. Now you're going to do upper body pulling, Jan. So what I'd like you to do is step back. You're going to need a little bit of space. Okay, get your core nice and tight. You're going to bring the wall ball up over your head. And then I want you to step forward. And with all your strength, I'd like you to throw that ball against the wall. Nice explosive movement. Awesome. Now you have to catch it, Janice. <laughs> She's cute, but... Okay. And pull. Add a girl. Okay. Now you want to make sure you alternate legs. All right. Awesome. So what we're doing here is we're working on your back. This is your upper body pulling and explosive strength. Well, I got to say, it, it, it's good for rage, too. It's it is. Good. That's the rage wall. That's why it's... Ball this is ball. the rage wall. Awesome. Now, Marlo, this is a movement that I've never done before, so okay. it should be interesting. All right, so this is the lateral. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you throw the ball laterally, okay? Now, the tens a little bit heavy for this movement because it involves a little bit of your core, lower back, but it's on a lateral, in a lateral plane. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter, Jan, so I'm going to give you the eight. What you're going to do is you're going to stand with your left foot out in front, arms straight out in front, and what I'd like you to do is just swing and actually like sweep that ball through as hard as you can right to the wall. I know it seems like a strange move, and there you go. Add a girl. Okay, now you're gonna step around and other side. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're engaging your core. This is almost like a, almost like a sport specific type of um, exercise for golfing or um, hockey, anything like that where you're actually swinging. Okay, now make sure you alternate. Good. Can you feel that working in your core? I, I can. Yeah, in your can. upper body? Good. So Excellent. all you need is a wall and a, and a ball. nice ball to do any of these uh, movements. And if you want any more information, you can contact Marlo through her website. And keep watching. There'll be more Body Sculpt with Marlo Ellis.